the aftermath of a Russian attack in the northern Ukrainian city of Chernihiv last year. On the ground, bodies of civilians. They'd been queuing outside a shop for bread when they were hit by shells and rockets. Fifteen people were killed, dozens injured. So you were standing around here? <laughs> Natasha narrowly escaped death that day by taking cover by this wall. She was in the queue with her son and mother-in-law. She plays me a recording she made on her phone. We heard explosions near us. It was very close. And then we saw lots of people running everywhere. At the time of the attack, Chernihiv was a city under siege. Russian forces were surrounding it and shelled it almost daily. They destroyed power and water supplies. Evidence of what happened is still visible nearly everywhere. This is where people were lining up for bread that day. It is right in the middle of a residential area. And what prosecutors in the city say is that what happened on that day is a war crime, an indiscriminate attack on civilians. Law enforcement agencies consider this a war crime because the main victims were civilians. Also, a pre-trial investigation found no evidence of Ukrainian military hardware that could be a legitimate target. Weapons were used indiscriminately. All, all these uh, marks, yellow marks, are the places of uh, where rockets hit the buildings. Yeah. Make this Marina Slobodyanuk works with a rights organization called Truth Hounds that's helping prosecutors to build a case. It's collated evidence and used open source material, satellite imagery and social media to reconstruct what happened. Her team says it's traced the killings to a Russian unit that was positioned on the outskirts of the city. We identified also the commander of this uh, brigade, Oleg Kurygin, who um, might be liable and responsible for this very kind of attack. Whether Oleg Kurigin or another officer was responsible for the attack on the bread queue might never be proved. Some investigators say he's back in Russia. It's clear that building legal cases and prosecuting alleged war crimes is a challenge. But for some Ukrainians, pursuing justice is at least one way of honoring the war's many victims. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Chernihiv, Ukraine.